Problem number four, determine convergence or divergence of the sum from n is equal to 2 to infinity of 1 over n times the square root of natural log of n. Okay, so how to do this problem? The thing that catches my eye is that if I were to replace n's with x's and look at x times the square root of natural log to the x, this is something that feels like it can be done using the integral test because this would be an integral that we, we can evaluate. So as it turns out, if we do a substitution, substitute in u is equal to the natural log of x, then du would be 1 over x dx. That's going to all check out. And so integral test is probably the test that we want to use. So what are the things that we have to do to make sure we can apply the integral test? Let me, let me write those out over here. So let's think about the function f of x is 1 over x times square root of natural log of x. So this is positive. This is decreasing. We could do that formally by calculating the derivative, or, um, or we can just kind of look here and see that as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, um, x is getting bigger and bigger, natural log of x getting bigger and bigger, the denominator is getting bigger and bigger, so the whole thing, uh, whole thing is getting smaller. So it's positive, it's decreasing as continuous. I should say for x is at greater than or equal to 2, our sum is starts at n is equal to 2. So we don't have to worry about, you know, natural log of x is negative. Um, we're taking a square root of something negative or ending up with natural log of x is 0 outside of our concern. So because f of x is positive, decrease, and continuous for x is greater than or equal to 2, what that tells us is that, oops, let me put, 2 to infinity here, what that tells us is that this sum and this improper integral, these have the same behavior. So these two have the same behavior. What do I mean by that? I mean that they both converge or both diverge. So our goal right now is let's use the let's figure out does this integral converge or diverge and that will tell us whether the series converges or diverges. Okay, so let's get into this integral right here. So so I'm just going to I'm just going to look at the indefinite integral for the time being, find the antiderivative and I'll put in bounds later. I already gave away how we're going to attack this. Let's set u is equal to natural log of x. du is 1 over x dx. So there is du. And so this ends up as the integral of, of du divided by square root of u, u to the 1 half. So this is the integral of u to the minus 1 half du. And so we end up with 2u to the 1 half plus c. Of course, this is our final answer. We need to substitute back in 2 times natural log of x to the 1 half plus c. Okay, so we found the antiderivative. So now let's evaluate the improper integral. So this is going to be the limit as r goes to infinity of the integral from 2 to r of 1 over x square root of natural log of x dx. And by our antiderivative that we calculated, it'll be 2 times the square root of natural log of x. And we're going to plug in 2 and r. So what happens now when we plug in 2 and r? Limits r goes to infinity of 2 times square root of natural log of r minus 2 times uh, the square root of natural log of 2. 
Okay, as r goes off to infinity, natural log of r goes off to infinity, the square root of that is still going off to infinity. This is a constant, and so we end up with infinity here. So we conclude, going back here, we conclude that this diverges. So by the integral test, because the corresponding integral, improper integral diverges, we conclude that the original series diverges as well. So to recap, what do we do here? We realize that this is, if we replace n's with x's, this is the integral that we can find the antiderivative of using substitution. We check the conditions on f of x here to make sure the integral test applies. And so these two, this series and this improper integral have the same behavior. They both converge or they both diverge. All of our work here is used to show that the improper integral diverges, so we conclude the original series diverges as well.